Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new edition of Did You See That? And I'm Mike, and thank you so much for tuning into this video where today we're talking about a movie that is set to come out on October 14th, a Shudder exclusive. So first you've got to give a shout out to Kayla from Shudder for getting me an early screener to this movie that is called The Medium. With this movie in mind, I never really heard of it, I only seen the poster. So I thought, okay, well let's check this out and see what it's all around. So the plot of The Medium. In the Iceland region of Thailand, a shaman, shaman, however you say it, realizes that his nephew is being possessed. However, the goddess that appears to have taken possession turns out to not be as benevolent as first appears. So, this is a really tough movie for me to critique simply because it has horror elements, it has supernatural elements, it has featurettes of kind of like a documentary esque style how they go around this movie which is quite intriguing because at first I thought okay well is this a documentary esque style and then it kind of turns out it does kind of fall that line but then also into a horror VHS kind of type esque movie it's very weird and hard to talk about what I'm gonna say is while I'm talking you guys are probably gonna see a list of the director and the cast because they've all got very unusual names I don't know how to pronounce and I don't want to butcher those names but what I'm gonna say ultimately about the medium is this I am mixed on this movie simply because at times there was some fantastic elements of horror and gore and kind of suspense where you were left wondering right okay how are these events going to unfold throughout the runtime of two hours and ten minutes is there going to be something underlying underneath this movie that is kind of like a mystical supernatural presence that's maybe known in thailand or is it a myth or what is exactly going on so that part left me intrigued overall i found myself fascinated by that element. So one thing I found really strange about this movie is that the first 10 minutes of this, this woman is shown in the first 10 minutes of this movie where she's talking about a little bit of a backstory and kind of like family heritage and stuff. Cool. You don't actually see her until about maybe five minutes in when she's starting this narration. When we see her in the first 10 minutes, we then see her kind of niece called Mink that I believe is getting possessed. Anyway, when Mink kind of shows up, they'd certainly go through some backstory with me. Or the person behind the camera is talking to like a documentary-esque style about her kind of life. And then for the next kind of 20, 30 minutes, this mean woman who's focused on in the first five, 10 minutes doesn't appear. And I was like, well, I appreciate that there's backstory, but surely she should be in there quite a bit because the story's relation with her, it is what it is. At the end of the day, what I'm going to say is that this movie had parts where it left me intrigued. It also had parts where, unfortunately, I found myself a little bit bored. It didn't kind of grasp my attention 100%. At certain points, I can certainly say it had elements where I was like, wow, they've actually taken like an original sort of take on this movie and then kind of put that out there and showcased that, wow, okay, this is different. I appreciate that. And some of the cinematography work in this is great. Especially some of the shots of just Thailand itself is beautiful and a sight to behold in its own right. I think where this fault is, is the runtime was a little bit too long. It didn't grasp my attention 100% at points. It certainly had me invested in it, kind of like on the edge of my seat being like, wow, okay, this is bold. This is in a great direction it's moving in. But then the rest of the time, it kind of faltered that kind of expectations. I'm gonna do a first ever here on the channel, I believe. I'm not actually gonna grade this movie, simply because if you're intrigued in watching it yourself, I want you to go in and watch it for yourself. Because I certainly feel like it's a movie that is kind of to behold and have an experience for yourself. If you kind of are on the fence about this, then I think should have advertised this in a fantastic way. The marketing was the poster itself had me engaged and I was like, wow. This looks pretty cool. And I can't say that I regret watching this movie because I don't. Ultimately, I wouldn't say that I'm 100% sold on it, but at the same time, I can't say I'm 100% against it. So I'm kind of in the middle on this movie. But if you've enjoyed the review itself, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And again, the movie comes out on October 14th on Shudder. What do you think? And leave your comments below if you do, because I'd love to know what your take is. But until the next time that you see me, I'll be seeing you later.